What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming and today I'm bringing you guys a new tutorial for Brute Force Save Data 474 on how to update your cheat repository. So I had a YouTuber ask me the other day, how do I update my cheat repository or my cheat database for Brute Force Save Data? Well, it's fairly simple. All you have to do is go to Brute Force Save Data dot reform dot net which I'm going to show you guys right now give me one second please and this is brute force save data dot reform dot net yes I'm registered so I'm actually logged in right now and I would recommend you guys to register to the site because it's very helpful and they have a lot to offer so all you have to do is go over to your left hand side it says cheat database for that month and just download the zip file once you actually download the zip file, what you want to do is extract it first, then go to your computer, then go to your C drive, program 86, so program files 86, brute force save data, and right here is your cheat repository or your cheat database for brute force save data. Now, once you extracted the file, all you do is just delete this and replace it with the new cheat database folder and open and close brute force save data and that's it as you guys can see I have the latest cheat repository from brute force installed on the same day so I'm good to go now one thing that I would recommend you guys to always do when you update your cheats is to update to the latest version of brute force save data and the reason why I say that is because Let's say you have an old version of Brute Force Save Data. You, you update your cheats, right? But you don't update your Brute Force Save Data. So what can happen is, let's say you get a new game, you do have the cheats, but you don't have the disk hash key. You see what I'm saying? So you can't add the cheats. What I would recommend you guys to do is always update to the latest version of Brute Force Save Data so you don't have to go back and worry about do I have a dish hash key if you have the latest version of brute force save data more than likely you will have the dish hash key now also what I'm gonna say too if you update to brute force save data 7474 sorry guys I would also recommend to also download and update the cheat database or cheat repository yourself because you may have an old database inside of cheat or uh, inside of brute force save data so to be safe than sorry update to the latest version and just add the latest database to brute force save data yourself and you should be good to go so that's pretty much it guys for this video i just wanted to share with you guys how to actually update brute force save data cheat database or cheat repository yourself as always it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. If you guys have a question or there's something you want to ask me, shoot me an email on my YouTube channel. I will do my best to actually answer that question. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching my video and actually taking the time to watch, subscribe, leave a comment, like, whatever. It's all good with the kid. As always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. And peace.